Welcome to Crotone Entertainment. I'm Chris. And I'm Bree. And who's ready for a short one today? I like shorts. This is to make up for yesterday when we weren't able to get our Marvel Crisis Pentacle video up uh, due to some technical difficulties. I was having trouble getting a transfer from my camera to my computer again. Don't know why. Just didn't like me. It's kind of a jerk. Uh, we're going to be working with uh, one of these widgets from Marvel Crisis Protocol. We're going to do it with three colors, and two of them are going to be metallics, because we're not using metallics on the main figures, because we're doing comic book style. Uh, and this really is just to showcase how simple you can do a widget, uh, or a measuring device, or whatever you want to call it. I call it a widget. Uh, how, simply, how simply you can do a widget, but still have something that looks cool. So we're starting with this uh, Scarlet Blood from Vallejo. You can use really any red you want. You can use any color you want. It doesn't even have to be red. Uh, the, the idea here is we're, we're going even more simple on this than we did on the last couple widgets. Because the last couple widgets we did kind of like... Uh, new I mean, it stuff. Like it was, new techniques. Well, it wasn't really highlighting on the first one because there wasn't any like raised areas to highlight. But we did kind of some like color differentiation. On the second one, we obviously did like the simple blending. Yeah. Over here, we're just, we're just slapping some color on. We're just, just having a good time. Like, good. Uh, I, uh, uh, spoiler, I do I do regret this a little bit. Uh, it's do not, you have regrets? I do, I have regrets. Uh, it doesn't come out quite like I want it to be. Um, but it's a widget. Would it's you, not It's not going to be on the table the entirety of the game. I, I do regret my decision to use the Vallejo Metallics here. Um, I was even using a thinning medium, and I did not get as near a smooth coat as I was really hoping for. So it took me about three coats of that red to really get a nice solid color. And then I switch over to that Vallejo Burn. This is the burnished gold that they put out. Um, and my, my concern here, like I said, I was actually using a thinner. And it just, it still was kind of uh, clumpy. Not really clumpy, but it, it just didn't go in as smooth as I wanted it to. I was pretty disappointed in that. Uh, I was into my third coat of the gold when I realized, oh, oh Shumba. I was going to say a bad word there. I'm not going to say it. Oh, Shumba. Uh, this is a widget you probably use more than most. So we're going to see this widget all the time. I was I was kind of thinking that actually. I'm like, but Chris, that's that's the two. We use yeah. the two for like a bunch of Yeah. It, it's not bad. It's something that I'm going to see every time I look at it. Um, when I put it at tabletop readiness here, yeah. it's, it's not as noticeable as I think it is. Um, just because you're a crazy person. But it's, well, I mean, Russell, Russell. I'm, I'm showing it to Brie here. I see. I, I You definitely, it's not smooth. But it's it's not bad enough in the final, finished product to really make a huge difference. So anyway, you just do the gold everywhere, and you do, I did multiple coats of the gold to get the shade I wanted, and then I switched over to the game color Plata, or the, the silver, and I just edged it. I just did the very edges of the gold in this silver to kind of make it pop a little bit. And guys, we're we're about done. That's, yeah. This is a this is a quickie. It's a widget. You don't have to spend a lot of time at these. I do recommend you paint your widgets. Star Wars Legions has widgets. Um, this uh, Crisis Protocol has widgets. You can get widgets for other games. I have a couple of laser cut uh, rulers and whatnot for other games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I did a designed one. Um, I didn't, but they exist. You can get them. You can three D print them. Actually, we have uh, quite a few files for our one page rules where I can three D print uh, measuring sticks. I kind of want to three D print one just to see if it's actually accurate. Uh, cause that would be so like, if this is actually three inches, yeah, this is was, actually, that'd be interesting to, to see, uh, three, if it's really three inches or if it's girlfriend said it was, wow, you said that in your out loud voice. I did say that in my out loud voice. So uh, yeah, this, this is a quick, quick little video. Nothing bad to hear. Quick, quick, quick little, cause, little, cause little. we're going to be, we're going to be hitting it hard next week with the last two miniatures. Uh, well, not in the same week, but, uh, starting next week, we're going to be hitting the last two miniatures in the, uh, crisis protocol core box that'd be Iron Man and Ultron. Um, and then we've got some more going later in the month, but, uh, kind of a, kind of a break, kind of a break week. Um, we did the, the tactical droid this week, very simple paint job. Yep. We did this widget, very simple paint job. Our hero quest video tomorrow is a little more complex, but not much. Uh, and that's about it. So paint your widgets, have some fun with it, play around some colors you wouldn't normally play around with. And, uh, yeah, like, and subscribe for more content, hit that bell button for notifications. And we will see you guys with the next video as we get into Iron Man next week and some hero quests tomorrow. Well, we're probably going to use a lot of the same colors. Goodbye. Goodbye.